Hello students, we are in the last module, module 1, Vector Calculus. Under that, you have to study two topics. One is Vector Differentiation, another one is Vector Integration. So there are two topics under the module 1, Vector Calculus. Calculus, right? So we need to study under this topic, Vector Differentiation and Vector Integration. So I will do Vector Integration first. So under vector integration, there are four topics. One is line integral, another one is Green's theorem. So under this, we need to solve the problems. Very, very important, Green's theorem problems. Next is Stokes theorem. So one problem will come under Stokes theorem and Gauss divergence theorem. Then applications to work done by force and plus, flux. So out of line integral and applications of work done force and flux, you will get one problem. And a green theorem, you will get surely one problem. And Stokes and the cost divergence. Under this, any one, you will get one problem. So these are the topics under vector integration. So let me see first what you mean by line integral. So under line integral, consider a curve. See consider one random one curve in space space means x y z we are taking if any one point if we consider in space means there are three coordinates x y z x y z three coordinates space right so now consider a curve c in space which consists of infinitesimally infinitesimally small line elements of length dr so i'm considering a curve in that i'm taking a small length of what is that length of that <coughs> line elements that is dr. Then the line integral of a vector a x, y, z. See, yeah, we have taken in space, we have taken a vector in space x, y, z along the curve c is defined to be the sum of scalar products of vector a and vector dr. So, scalar product, you know what you mean by scalar product, dot product, correct? Vector A dot vector DR. We have to take all the line elements. So, I have taken the integration symbol along the curves C. So, this is our line integral. So, what is our line integral? Line integral of a vector A along the curve C defined to be the sum of the scalar products vector A and vector DR. DR is the infinitesimally small line elements of length dr. We have divided this curve into an infinitesimally small length dr. And if we take the scalar product, that is nothing but our line integral. Now, if we consider C is a closed curve, so this is an open curve. Suppose if it is a closed curve, like circle, right? Circle is a closed curve, which do not intersect anywhere. It should not intersect anywhere. Then the line integral around C is denoted by like this. See, if the curve C is a closed curve, what you need to put here one symbol like this, circle symbol. This symbol indicates the given curve is a closed curve. And next, if vector f is a force, then vector f dot vector dr. If we consider a force vector, and again, infinitesimally small length elements along the curve C, then if it is a closed curve, I have denoted it by circle, then that is called as work done. Okay, what do you mean by work done? Scalar product of force and the infinitesimally small line elements. Now, vector f is said to be irrotational if this line integral is zero. So, when we say it is irrotational vector, if the line integral, if the answer is zero, then what we can say the fact vector f is irrotational. Now, before going to the problems, we need some node. See, see the node. Suppose vector f is this a1 i cap plus a2 j cap plus a3 k cap. Okay, vector f I have denoted as an ordered triplet format. That becomes easy. Instead of writing i, j, k, I have written like this. a1, a2, a3. What is the meaning of this? a1, i cap plus a2, j cap plus a3, k cap. And I have taken vector r. So you need to take this itself. For all the problems, it is by default vector r is nothing but x, y, z. So what will be vector dr? Just you need to differentiate this. That is dx, dy, dz. So what do you mean by dot product of these two vectors, you know, what do you mean by dot product vector f dot vector dr is nothing but a1 into dx plus a2 into dy plus a3 into dz. So this is the dot product. I don't tell you in the problems. 
in the problems also you need to follow the same procedure write vector f in the order triplet format vector dr is always dx d by dz then how to take the dot product this into this plus this into this plus this into this that is our vector f dot vector dr now let me go to the problem vector f equal to this see they have given this is a1 this is a2 this is a3 evaluate vector f dot vector dr from the point 0 0 0 to 1 1 1 Along the curve, x equal to t, y equal to t square, z equal to t cube. Now, what is vector f? Vector f is this a1, a2, a3. I have written like this a1, a2, a3. What is vector dr? dr is nothing but by default dx d by dz. Then, what is vector f dot vector dr? Just you need to take the dot product. This into this plus this into this plus this into this. Then, x, y, z. What you need to put x, y, z. So they have given the curve as like this, right? This is a parametric curve. So x, y, z you need to convert in terms of t. So x they have taken t and corresponding y will be t square, z will be t cube. So wherever there is x, you need to put t. Wherever there is y, t square. So what will be dx? Say dx is dt. What will be dy? dy will be 2t dt, right? What will be dz? dz will be 3 t square dt. Okay. And see 20 x is t z square z is t cube. What is z square? t to the power 6. Then collect all the term outside everywhere dt is present. So take the take that out dt. So you will get vector f dot vector dr equal to so much, right? Then we need the line integral. So write down the line integral vector f dot vector dr. Integral is from 0 to 1. So integral is from 0 to 1. Okay, vector f dot vector dr. Write down that dt. Why I have written 0 to 1? Because we need t. t value uh, limit for t. Right? So when x is 0. Can you make out? When x is 0, t is also 0. When y is 0, t is also 0. When z is 0, t is also 0. In all cases, t equal to 0. That is the lower limit. When you put x equal 1, just observe, t is 1, right? When y is 1, t is 1. Z is 1, t is 1, correct? Now, don't take plus or minus 1, just take t is 1, correct? Now, t equal, t square equal to 1. So, the lower limit is 0, upper limit is 1. Then, usual integration, 9, take out. What is the integral of t square? You know, what is the integral of x power n? x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. So, what is the integral of t square? t cube by 3. Then minus 28 you take out. What is the integral of t power 6? t power 7 by 7. 60 you take out. What is the integral of t power 9? t power 10 by 10. So cancel it. Then put the upper limit. Then the lower limit. So the answer is 5. See put the upper limit. 1, 3 into 1, 3. Minus 4 into 1 power 7 is 1 itself. Plus 6 into 1 power 10 is 1 itself. So 3 minus 4 plus I have not put the lower limit. Why? When you put the lower limit it has automatically becomes 0. Now we will go to the second problem. Vector f equal to this. Evaluate line integral c vector f dot vector dr from this point to this point along the line. There are two lines they have given. One is y equal to x. Another one is a parabola y equal to root x. So let me write the dot product. What is the dot product? Vector f dot vector dr. Here I have written directly. See, this is a1, a2. There is no k here. So a3 is 0. So what is vector dr? By default, what is vector here? dx dy dz. So what will be that? A1 into dx, x square dx, a2, a2 is xy dy, a3 is not there. So 0 into dz is 0. So this is our dot product. Hope you understood. Same procedure. Okay, same procedure. Then first question along the line y equal to x. They have given y is x. So what we need to do is we need to convert in terms of one variable. Okay, we need to convert in terms of one medium along the line y equal to x. So if I put in the place of y as x, so what will be dy? dy will be dx. So everywhere it should be dx and the limit should be from x. We should vary the limit for x. So what is the x coordinate here? x coordinate is 0. Here x coordinate is 1. Here y coordinate is 0. So, uh, x y coordinate is 0 and here also y coordinate is 1. So see it is in the form x comma y. x comma y. Correct? x is 0, x is 1, y is 0, y is 1. 
Now I have taken x limit. Why I have taken x limit? Because I am converting. I am converting y in terms of x. See. Let me write the line integral vector f dot vector d here. What is dot product? I have written here. Right now, return here. Now, y I replace given the curve is y equal to. So wherever there is y, you put x. And what will be dy? Dy will be dx. Correct now. Dy will be dx. Okay, dx. Now x square plus x square is two x square dx. Two you take out. What is the integral of x square x cube by three? Put the upper limit, lower limit. Two by three is constant outside. One cube minus zero cube. That is one. So two by three. Then again go for the parabola. Second question. Y equal to root x. Now instead of keeping root, I'll rewrite the problem as y square equal to x. That becomes easy. Okay, y square equal to x. Now what is the differential of this? You know the differential of this. Two y dy is equal to dx. Now what I'm doing is I'm converting everything in terms of y. Okay, everything in terms of y. So see. Integral x square d. This was the given problem x y d y. So now what I'll do is y. What is y? So what is x? What is x? I'm converting in terms of y. What is x? X is y square. So y square. I've written then dx. Dx is two y d y plus x into x is y square. Then y d y. So that becomes two y cube. So I think there is a mistake here. X square dx. X square, na. So if it is x square, so it should be y to the power four, I guess. Correct, na. Y to the power four. So two y to the power five. Correct. So make a correction here. Two into y to the power four. Y to the power five. It is okay. Two y to the power five plus y cube. So that gives you. 2 y to the power 6 by 6 plus y to the power 4 by 4. So you will get the different answer. Please make a change here because here x x is what y square, right? Y square of whole square. So y square of whole square is y to the power 4. And what is dx? Dx is 2 y dy. X x is y square. Y is same. Here there is no mistake. Here it should be y to the power 4. Okay, make a correction. So you will get 2 into y to the power 5. So two into y to the power six by six plus y to the power four by four. Then put the limit and do the correction here. Next, find the work done in moving a particle in the force field along the straight line from the point this to this. The curve defined by this. Now again the same thing. Work done. They have asked. Work done. We know, right? Work done means what? What do you mean by work done? Formula vector y f dot vector d r. Yes, force is given here. Force is given. Right? What is vector f? Three x square comma this comma this. Correct, na? So how will you write vector f dot vector? Here? Just you need to write three x square dx. This into dy plus that into dz. That gives you vector f dot vector d. Now form the line integral and write down this whatever you got. Take it as equation number one. So it is easy. Just You need to put three x square dx this dy plus that dz. Now the equation of the straight line from zero comma zero to two comma one comma three r. So what I'll do is they have given the straight line from this point to this point, correct? So I convert in terms of parametric equation that becomes easy. Otherwise, you can use the straight line formula equation of straight line that is also no issues. But since it is a Uh, three uh, ordinates. I do like it. Becomes easy. See how to write this. X by two, y by one, z by three. See x by two, y by one, z by. I'll take it as a parameter t. Then what will be x? X will be two t. Y will be t. Z will be three t. Right now. So accordingly, what will be dx two t? T d y will be d t. D z will be three times d t. And what is the point they have given? Point they have given zero comma zero comma zero to two comma one comma three, and t is from where to where? How to get the t value? See x t value we know right? When x is zero, see put here. When x is zero, t is zero. When y is zero, t is zero. When z is zero, t is zero. So t value lower limit is zero. Now put x is two, so t is one right? When y is one, t is one. When z is three. Three t, three you bring the t is one. So when you put this point here, you will get t is zero, t is one. So the one becomes integral c vector f dot vector d r is equal to integral zero to one because we are converting x y in terms of 
single variable t, right? So we need to put the limit for t. So 3 into x, what is x? 2t whole square dx. What is dx? 2 times dt. 2 into x is 2t. That is 3 dt minus y is t. What is dy? dt plus z. Z is 3 dt and 3t. So take out dt. So 24 t square plus 12 t square minus to simplify this, we'll get 36 t square plus 5t. 36, what is the integral of t square t cube by 3? What is the integral of t? t square by 2. So simplify. So here it should be 8t, right? 9t minus t. It should be 8t. 8t, 8t square by 2. So 2 ones are 2 fours. It is 8. Please note, note here 8t. So 12 plus 4, 16. Now let me go to the second problem. What is the second question they have given? The curve defined by x square equal to 4y. 3x cube equal to 8z from the point 0 to 2. Now the curve defined is this. So x equal to t. I'll put x equal to t. For my reference, I'll put x equal to t. So convert y. y will be what? y will be t square by 4. What will be z? 3t cube by 8. So if you take x equal to t, automatically y will be also in terms of t. z will be also in terms of t. So what will be dx? dx will be dt. What will be dy? Half. A half dt. And what will be dz? 9 by 8 t square dt. Okay, dt. So when x equal to 0, t equal to, when x is 0, t is 0. When x is 2, t is 2. Correct, now You can make out here also. When x, when y they have given, right? When x is 2, the points they have given, x is 0, x is 2. Just, just put x is 0, t is 0. x is 2, t is 2. Now write the integral. Already integral is here. Substituting in 1. Integral is here, 3 x is t square, x is square, correct, x is square is t square, what is dt, dt is, uh, dx is dt itself, then, then 2x, what is x, t, then uh, 2x, what is z, z is 3t cube by 8, just substitute minus, then y, y is what, t square by 4 substitute, then dy, dy is what, half dt okay make a correction here dt 9 by t square then so simplify this you will get uh, this as the answer see integral 3 t square t cube by 3 t integral t cube is t power 4 by 4 integral t power 5 is t power 6 by 6 then simplify this put the upper limit 2 cube minus 1 by 32 power 4 plus 51 by 64 into 6 so 2 power 6 okay so the answer will be 16. So these are the problems under line integral. Few problems, I'll give it as an assignment. Thank you.